random variable or random variable this is a function that assigns a real number x s to every element s belongs to s where this capital s is the sample space corresponding to a random experiment capitally suppose we have a random experiment let the capital e be tossing of two coins so for this random experiment the corresponding sample space will be this is for all the possible outcomes that is head head this is head tail tail head and tail tail now we are defining the random variable random variable it is always denoted by capital letters that is in the upper case letter let it be capital x capital y or capital z so here capital x let it is denoting a random variable as number of heads for this random experiment of tossing of two coins where the sample space it is given by head 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 tail tail head and tail tail now for this number of heads this x can take values for this corresponding to this sample space this a capital x can take values 0 1 and 2 so that means what exactly is a random variable suppose here we have a set of all possible outcomes so that means the set of all possible outcomes is tail tail head 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 tail and this is tail head and here we have the set of real number let the set of real number is 0 1 2 and so on so now for this random experiment uh, random experiment the random variable this capital x which is denoting the number of head and it is taking the value 0 1 and 2 so this tail tail since no head turns out so that means this will map to a real number 0 that means x of this possible outcome that is tail tail this is equals to 0 similarly head head here we have two number of heads and it will map to a real number 2 so that means here this x of h h this is going to the real number 2 similarly head tail here we have number of head is 1 so that is x of head tail this is equals to 1 and similarly tail head this will go to this will map to 1 that is x of th this is also equals to 1 so that means the possible values that this random variable can take it is 0 1 2 which basically maps each of the outcomes where we have the possible outcomes to a real number the real number here we have 0 1 2 which this random variable can take suppose we have other experiment the other experiment it is a tossing of three coins so this is the experiment e and corresponding to this random experiment we have the sample space the sample space here we have eight possible outcomes that is head 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 tail head 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 tail and this is head tail tail then we have tail 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 then tail tail head then tail head tail and this is tail head head so these are the eight possible outcomes for this random experiment of tossing three coins now if we are denoting capital x to be the number of tails so this capital x this is a random variable which is denoting number of tails corresponding to this random experiment of tossing three coins now here we have the set this set contains all the possible outcomes that is head 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 then we have head tail head then we have head head tail head tail tail this is tail 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 then tail tail head and we have tail head tail and this is tail head head so this is a set of all possible outcomes and here we have a set of real number and here this capital x which is the random variable it is denoting the number of tails so now the possible values that this capital x can take it is for this random experiment of tossing three coins it can take value zero that means for the outcome head 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 it can take value one that is the number of tails it is one and two number of heads then it can take two and the maximum of three number of tails turns out when we toss three coins so here this 
x can take three values 0 1 2 and 3 so that means this head 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 it will map to this real number that is 0 head tail head here we have one tail turns out so that means it will map to a real number 1 then we have head head tail that means it will map to a real number again one because only one tail turns out here head tail tail it will map to a real number two tail 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 it will map to a real number three tail tail head it will map to a real number two tail head tail again map to a real number two and tail head head map to a real number one so basically if we are writing this in function form that is x of h h h it will map to that means this outcome will map to a real number zero then x head tail tail number of tails this is two so this is two x h t h this is one then x h h t this is again going to be one and so on so in this way here this random variable x defining the number of tails which maps outcomes to a real number. So that means in simple manner we can say a random variable x it maps outcomes to a real number and outcomes for what? Outcomes for some random experiment E and this outcomes it will map to a real number. Now again if we are taking some other example let the example of rolling of two dice. So for this same experiment, we define two different random variables. So rolling of two dice. So the sample space will be, it is one, one. That means both dice, uh, one, one turns out on both the dice. Then we have one, two, and this goes till one, six. Similarly, two, one, two, two, and this goes till two, six. And the total is let it be 6 1 this is 6 2 and this goes till 6 6 so that means this is a set of all possible outcomes and this is the sample space for this random experiment now if we are defining two random variables capital x capital x it is the total of two dice that means the total of two dice and let the capital Y this is the random variable S let it be absolute difference. So that means their absolute difference. So the capital X it can take value because the total of two dice it could be minimum of that 1 1 so that is the total it could be 2 it could be 3 4 and this goes till 12 that is when 6 6 turns out so that means it will be 12 so that means these are the possible values that this capital x can take and the possible values that the capital y can take because the absolute difference so it it can take value 0 if 1 1 turns out it can take value 1 and the maximum value it can take is 5 when it is turning out 1 6 or 6 1 so in that case the maximum value of their difference it is coming out to be 5 so that means the capital Y it is taking value 0 1 2 3 4 5 and the capital X which is again a random variable which is taking values 2 3 4 up to 12 so here again we have here we have the set of all all possible outcomes that means 1 1 and this goes till 6 6 and they here, here we have the set of real numbers that means for the random variable x the set of real number it can 2 3 4 5 and this goes till 12 so if 1 1 for the outcome 1 1 that is x of 1 1 this is equals to 2 because the total is 2 if we have x of x of let it be 2 3 so the total is it is coming out to be 5 so this outcome will map to a real number 5 if we have x of 6 1 that means the outcome the addition of these two real number it is 7 so this will map to a real number 7 and for the outcome y 
we have if we have one one that means their absolute difference it is going to be zero so that means it this outcome will map to a real number that is zero similarly y of six one this will map to a real number five so because their absolute difference it is going to be five so in this way we can define the random variable